Greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Your faith is being reported all over the world. As we all know, Paul did not visit Rome when he wrote this letter. At the end of his ministry, he was arrested and taken to Rome by ship. He was arrested during the time of Pentecostal season and there were many inquiries. After that, he said that he be challenged only before the emperor. Being a Roman citizen, he said that no one has this kind of authority. And so, he said finally that he be investigated and trial should be made in front of the Roman emperor. And that's why he was sent to Rome. That was his final destination. Before he could make a visit to this familiar city, Rome, he was ever of the faithful servants in Rome. You, your faith is being reported all over the world. All over the world means in all the Christian circles. In Corinth, in Philippi, in Galatia, Thessalonica, in all these places. Colossians, in all these people, places, people were talking about the faith of this congregation called Rome. The Greek word for faith is pisti, P-I-S-T-I, pisti, which means trust, faith, trustworthiness, corresponding to Roman fide, Latin fide. Martin Luther used three important phrases. Sola gratia, sola scriptura, and sola fide. Grace alone, scripture alone, and faith alone. Therefore, this word <coughs> has been an important one in the theological world. 37 times this word, pisti, is used in this letter, letter of Paul to the Romans, 37 times. In chapter 1 alone, five times Paul used the word pisti because our Lord Jesus, after every miracle, after every healing, he used this word, pisti. Matthew chapter 8, Matthew chapter 8, Matthew chapter 8, verse, verse 10. After healing the centurion son, centurion son, Matthew 8, verse 10. When Jesus heard this, he was astonished and said to those following him, I tell you the truth, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith, with such great faith, he witnessed as 
this centurion centurion normally used to be non jewish people something the power of power is related with uh, modern days collector to the next to that the next tent centurions were so powerful representing the high command and used to administer a local panchayat and other local towns small towns he says that i tell you the truth i have not found anyone in israel with such great faith again at the time of the healing of the paralytic verse chapter 9 verse 2 chapter 9 verse 2 some men brought to him a paralytic lying on a mat when jesus saw their faith he said to the paralytic take heart son your sins are forgiven your sins are forgiven and again it is written in chapter 9 of Matthew the similar meaning is given in verses from 4 to 8 verses 4 to 8 and finally healing the sick woman this word is used healing the sick woman chapter 9 of Matthew gospel verse 22 Jesus turned and saw her take heart daughter he said your faith has healed you and the woman was healed from that moment by mentioning or writing this word pisti Paul wanted to establish that he was in line with our lord jesus he was in line with lord jesus to appreciate to praise the religious belief among the common people among congregation members and that's why he has used more than 37 times this word pistis in this letter romans normally paul used to appreciate to the readers used to have certain formulas in writing the letters used to thank god before stating that your faith is being reported all over the world, he begins with this, verse 8, Roman 1, 8. First, I thank you, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you. Paul was the one who taught the first century Christians how to pray. Praying through Christ Christ is the way. Praying through Christ. He was very specific in writing this. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you. And this also can be seen in Philemon. Philemon we know that there is only one chapter in Philemon, verse 4, verse 4. I always thank my God as I remember you in my prayers. I always thank my God before he goes detailed writings in this letter, he is no praising the faith of this person is 
all association with religious communities how he was helpful to the local church i always thank my god as i remember you in my prayers i always remember you i thank my god i thank my god the other thing because i hear about your faith in the lord i often hear your faith in the lord and that's why i thank and you would love for all the saints i pray that you may be active in sharing your faith i pray that you may be active in sharing your faith he appreciates his faith and also you want to appreciate that he is now witnessing his faith to other the first generation christians <coughs> or the new converts so that you will have a full understanding of every good things we have in Christ we have in Christ not only about faith your love has given me great joy and encouragement because you brother have refreshed the hearts of the saints because of his faith philemon has been very faithful and he was loving all the saints all the saints means all the members of the congregation not only the ministers not only those who take good news to the people but all the members of the congregations were understood as saints and again first thessalonians when he wanted to tell them certain important things now he takes much time in listing out their faithful activities they imitate god you became imitators of us first thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6 you became imitators of us and of the lord in spite of severe suffering you welcome the message with joy as usual he wanted to record how much he was faithful first thessalonians chapter 1 verse 2 we always thank god for all of you he appreciates and praises the entire congregation the thessalonians this is believed to be the first letter written by st paul after writing first thessalonians scholars believe he wrote galatians he wrote letter to the galatians we we always thank god for all of you mentioning you in our prayers and that's why we pray for all of you we continually remember before our god and father your work produced by faith your work is supported by faith because of the faith you are active and working and bringing witnesses you were labor prompted by love and your endurance inspired by hope <clears throat> in our lord jesus verse 7 and so you became a model to all believers in macedonia and achaia the lord's message rang out from you not only to macedonia anakaya your faith in god has become known everywhere similarly he has written to the romans because of the letters of saint paul the early churches were nurtured 
we know in tamil literature or tamil syllabus we have to do study poems but there is a well known guides to understand tamil poem and that is called konar tamil urai without their help we may not or we cannot understand the poem i want to equate that konar guide with that of the letters of saint paul in order to understand the gospels people depend on letters of saint paul to various churches to various churches and he praises them that you have become a model people in thessonia were faithful they have become model to the rest of the churches in those days in asia minor <coughs> including <coughs> the seven churches including the seven churches turkey comes under asia minor and this model must be appreciated and we should analyze ourselves how far we are faithful comparing the writings of st paul to various churches they were suffering there was severe suffering they were put into lot of persecutions but this church was different they were enduring persecutions because of lord christ sufferings on the cross the book of revelation chapter 14 verse 9 and 11 9 to 11 must be read when we want to reflect on faith many wanted to leave the church because of the persecution by the roman roman empire wanted to be get out of the fellowship of the church revelation 14 9 to 11 let me read only verse 11 only 11 verse 11 this call 11 let me read verse 12 this calls for patient endurance on the part of the saints this calls for patient endurance on the part of the saints who obey god's commandments and remain faithful to jesus those who were remain faithful to jesus jesus did not leave the church and that's why god assured them blessed are the dead who die in the lord let us pray gracious lord thank you for the letters of saint paul help us to learn many things from the letters of saint paul in order to be more faithful and honest to witness you in our day to day life in jesus name we pray amen